Hi, this is Gene Dolgoff, and I want to tell you the background concerning one of my greatest inventions. Back in the 1950s, I was very interested in television, and I learned how a TV worked. I came to understand the schematic and what went into a TV set and what made it work. As time went on, I started noticing that TV sets had small pictures, and I thought, why can't we make a bigger picture? Then there were some efforts to make a bigger TV, a projection TV, but there was a very limited size to the picture, and the quality was also limited, and the brightness was also limited. So I thought, I think I can invent a better mousetrap, but it really was a better video projector. So in 1968, I designed a new type of projector to project video, and I wrote up my first patent application. We didn't file it at that time because I was continuing to improve it. Finally, in 1971, I decided to modify the design of it and to use something called liquid crystals to cause the light from an external light source to turn into an image which was sent onto a screen. So I envisioned a display made with liquid crystals, a liquid crystal display or an LCD and I said, I need to get one of those so I can build a prototype of my new LCD projector. Unfortunately, the LCD didn't exist then, so I had to wait. Finally, I was able to get a hold of an early LCD from Japan in 1983. And so I worked hard and put together the world's first LCD projector. And this is it. You see it's got a lens in the front, it's got an antenna because it actually picked up TV off the air, and it's got electronics that allowed you to change the channel and connect it to external sources like a VCR, which is what we had then. This LCD projector eventually became all the LCD projectors that you see today. If you go to the movies, they use LCD projectors to project movies on the screen. If you have a projector at home and you watch projected image from your DVD or your Blu-ray or your video game system, that projector still is an LCD projector, which is a descendant of this. I started the first LCD projection company in 1988 called Projectivision, and I took it public on NASDAQ in 1990. After that, I started licensing it to big companies, and eventually, we even produced our own product and sold it and marketed it as well. This is the beginning of the LCD projector market, which today is a multi-billion dollar market.